It's so good to be back here in South Carolina. Home of the Gamecocks. Nice beat. Wow. Another fantastic flush by Bryant. Ducked it right on his head. Look at the ball movement for Carolina. Gosh, that's pretty. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Gamecock Insider. I'm your host, Eric Scott from Founders Park. Speaking of Founders, we'll have baseball coverage coming up a little later on in this program. Lots of other sports to cover on the show as well, but we get things started with our Prisma Health injury update as we focus on the Gamecock women's basketball team, which has advanced on to the second weekend of the NCAA tournament. They're having to do so without one of their leaders. Lily Grissett remains out with a lower body injury, a leg injury, so Carolina having to overcome her absence. And we certainly uh, wish her all the best in her recovery. She helps cheer on her teammates in their pursuit of another national championship. That injury update brought to you by our friends at Prisma Health, the official team physicians of the Gamecocks. Now, speaking of Don Staley's squad, they rampaged through the first two rounds, decisive victories over Mercer and Oregon State, and our cameras were there to capture the fun. Staley. State the 13 points in the first quarter. I thought our defense was established and the way that we wanted to play uh, for the entire game. I mean, we wanted to speed them up. We wanted to make sure that they weren't getting clean looks at the basket. We wanted to disrupt um, and we wanted to pressure them. We went out and just played gritty, um, led by, you know, Destiny Henderson, who just got underneath 
um, Goodman and, and made her think about our pressure more than wanting to attack and to score and to, and to distribute the basketball. And then it, it was a trickle down effect. V, V was awesome. Victoria Saxon was awesome. Like incredibly, like locked into what she needed to do. And 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 then everybody else just fell into place as far as um, being linked up. Nobody wants the role that rebuild plays for us. You know, that is lockdown, you know, our opponent's best offensive guard. Um, sometimes that is sacrificing your shot um, for a, you know, a, a better shot. Um, sometimes that is um, just being a decoy and being a screener. You know, nobody wants that. But here's, here's the truth of the matter is um, pro teams are looking at that. The, the deeper we go in this tournament, the more experience we have, um, the better off we'll be this year as well as the, in years to come. Seven consecutive trips to the Sweet 16. What an amazing statistic for Dawn Staley and her squad, who next up face the Yellow Jackets of Georgia Tech. We've got more of Gamecock Insider, so stick around. We're back after this break from Learfield IMG College. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks, and Home Team Barbecue, the new location for Carolina Calls. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> It's like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. And when the unexpected happens to you, there's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Right now, during Toyota's Ready, Set, Go event, get 0% APR for 48 months on a new 2021 Toyota RAV4 and 90-day payment deferral. That's 0% APR on the Toyota RAV4. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Let's talk some men's tennis now. Carolina on a roll. They knocked off NC State recently and almost upset the number one team in the nation, North Carolina. Both of those matches were at home. We've got some highlights now from that win over the Wolfpack. Coach Josh Goffey's guys are up to 10th now in the nation in the latest ITA rankings. Next up for them, back to SEC play in a battle with the Arkansas Razorbacks. 
More of Gamecock Insider coming in just a moment from Learfield IMG College. Join us Thursday night for Carolina Calls from Home Team Barbecue in Five Points. We'll be talking with Carolina head baseball coach Mark Kingston. That's at 7 p.m. Thursday night on the Gamecock Sports Network from Learfield IMG College. to make a lasting impact through acts of kindness, compassion, and strength. They inspire us to innovate and educate, to do more than we ever thought possible, to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. With great deals, get ready to turn your dreams into reality. Right now, during Toyota's Ready, Set, Go event, get 0% APR for 48 months on a new 2021 Toyota RAV4 and 90-day payment deferral. That's 0% APR on the Toyota RAV4. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. I'm so done with this. Bank fees? No, I'm looking for love. Oh, you'll love Founders Federal Credit Union. I get 24-7 access. I can pay bills, send money with Founders Pay, mobile deposits, free checking, and I earn more with Loyalty Select. And Founders has awesome low rates on loans for basically anything. Relax. Everyone knows that Founders is better than a bank. Exactly. It's love calling. The benefits of the big banks, the service and low rates of Founders. See if membership is right for you. Relax. You're with Founders. Back for more of Gamecock Insider, I'm Derek Scott. Founders Park, the home of Carolina baseball, and the Gamecocks are in the midst of a five-game homestand right now. It got started with a win over the Citadel Bulldogs. That made it two straight victories for Carolina after claiming the third game of the weekend series in Nashville against the team now ranked number one in the nation, the Vanderbilt Commodores. Let's take a look at how Carolina picked up those back-to-back -back wins. Called strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts and four of the last five for Brett Carey. One of the more stressful times one to the left field corner. Be surprised by that thing coming in. A no hitter on their staff. Bosnick picks that one out of the air and that's a good way to get it. Seipler fights the sun and makes the catch. Strikeout. The camera of the base runners is holding up playing base-to-base -base baseball, not trying to push anything. Plays. Swing and a miss, strike three. You don't have to guess who in the building. Born of the realest. Never catch me slacking. I was born as the illest. They call me a champion. I got the word to win. I'm a rap pretty walking. I am one in a million. Guess who in the building? Born of the realest. Never catch me slacking. I was born as the illest. They call me a champion. I got the word to win. I'm a rap pretty walking. I am one in a million. Yeah. Catch me. I am standing my ground as they come closer. I am focused as I smile with a grin. Obviously, Vanderbilt's pitching staff is, is one of the top in the country, and I would put Florida right there with them. So I just think it teaches guys um, the adjustments they need to make to hit that type of velocity, to be able to hit the, that type of breaking stuff. So you just hope that it's a learning process and that every week you get a little bit better with it. Look, it's baseball. There's going to be ups. There's going to be downs. And you just have to try to stay as even keel as you can through the ups and downs. Uh, there's going to be a lot of great games we play, and there's going to be some struggles 
against great teams. And there's going to be some times where you do everything right. And you still lose because SEC baseball is, is better than it has ever been. So again, I think the message is just continue to learn about yourself, about your team, what adjustments we need to make um, and, and try to stay as even keel as possible uh, to deal with the ups and the downs. You know, I think we're settled in most positions right now, but third base is still a, uh, you know, it's, it's Malone, it's Heinrich, it can be Satterfield. Um, Michael Robinson has gone over there in a defensive capacity. So, um, yeah, that's still a position we'd like to see settled. Um, we have some good options, but, but all those guys need to play, you know, more at the top of their game consistently. When they do that, I think the position will be fine. We just haven't gotten to that point yet. So I would say Kerry gives us the flexibility um, to start him, use him in the middle of the game, close him. Um, he's a Swiss army knife. So we want to try to use him to get the most important outs and the most of those outs uh, that we possibly can. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Osdick is still a very important piece of our weekend uh, and getting a lot of innings. It just, we're going to keep our options open to see how the series develops. Carolina's homestand rolling on against number five, Florida. And then on Tuesday night, Gardner Webb will be in to cap off that stretch of home contest here at Founders Park. Let's stay on the diamond, but move to Carolina softball. Gamecocks recently won two out of three against nationally ranked UCF. Here are the highlights. Dive this one to left field. Searcy goes back to the warning track to the wall. Touch them all. A two-run home run for Caleb Rotar. Swearing to bunt, it's a squeeze. It'll get past the third baseman and run score. That one into left field. It'll drop in for a base hit. In the air to right field. That'll drop in for a base hit. Right super Schumpacher dives to save it from going to the wall, but two runs will score. Stay tuned for more Carolina softball coverage coming up after the timeout with our Sansbury Did You See That Play. We'll also tell you about our Terminix Pest Player of the Week. That's when Gamecock Insider rolls on. a lasting impact through acts of kindness, compassion, and strength. They inspire us to innovate and educate, to do more than we ever thought possible, to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. So very it's not just about style and vision. It's about passion. Our passion to make sure that you have the perfect glasses or contact lenses for your look. You know, it's just so very Sansbury. With so many choices and options available, we want to make sure your eyewear looks great and feels great. That's so very Sansbury. So very Sansbury Eye Center. Good hard work has earned Sean Peterson the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the track and field team, Peterson is a sophomore finance major with a 4.0 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work.
Fabian, ground ball, that'll get through. One run will score. Runner around third, she will score, and the Gamecocks will walk it off here in game one as Jordan Fabian with her second two-run single of the day, and the Gamecocks win it 9-1 to one in five innings. That's your Sansbury. Did you see that play? Jordan Fabian, the Carolina catcher, coming through with the walk-off RBI to pick up a win over nationally ranked UCF. Let's talk about our Terminix Pest Player of the Week. From women's golf, Pauline Roussin Bouchard. She has already won three tournaments this season, and the Carolina squad has picked up four tournament victories. So congratulations, Pauline and her teammates. What a great run they are on. Next up for Pauline, later this week, she'll be headed to Augusta National. What an honor to get to participate in the women's amateur tournament there. That is what's next, and that is your Terminix Pest Player of the Week. Next up for Carolina coverage here on Gamecock Insider, let's take a look at some women's soccer. Carolina has picked up three straight victories. Here are the highlights from the most recent of those wins. Well, 3-0 seems to be the lucky number for Shelly Smith's team. That was the final score of that victory. And, of course, the next win against Elon, same score, 3-0 the win. That's three straight victories for Carolina women's soccer. More of Gamecock Insider in just a moment from Learfield IMG College. Absolute Total Care, one plan, always covered. Learn more at AbsoluteTotalCare.com. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. This is your kind of day, and this is your kind of truck, then this is your time to buy. During the Built for Spring sales event, get great deals and great offers on the legendary workhorse Ford F-150 and the adventure-ready Ford Ranger. Make the most of your spring in a new Ford, America's best-selling brand. Hurry, it's the Built for Spring sales event. Now, get a 2020 F-150 with up to 10531 in total savings. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. People have the power to make a lasting impact through acts of kindness, compassion, and strength. They inspire us to innovate and educate, to do more than we ever thought possible, to help you be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, inspired by you. Farm Bureau Insurance is giving you a chance to win two tickets to an upcoming home women's basketball game. Visit uscontest.com and register for your chance to win. Everyone that registers will be entered for the chance to win the grand prize, an autographed ball from Coach Don Staley. Register to win at uscontest.com. That's uscontest.com. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official healthcare provider of the Gamecocks, and Home Team Barbecue, the new location for Carolina Call.
We are back to wrap things up here on Gamecock Insider. As we put our final segment together, we thought we'd head back over to Carolina football. Pro Day took place earlier this week. There were 14 different former Gamecocks getting an opportunity to show off their skill sets for NFL personnel. 31 different National Football League teams were represented. That included six general managers, two head coaches here as well. Let's go behind the scenes at Gamecock Pro Day. Before we wrap things up on this week's edition of Gamecock Insider, we need to give you the Toyota keys to the game. We're going to talk about four young ladies from the women's golf program, the number one team in the nation. We'll see their regular season is concluded, but for that quartet, what a great week this will be. They are qualified and will be invited into the Augusta National Women's Amateur. That's right, they have a chance to play at the most legendary course maybe in the world, certainly in the United States. So the keys for those young ladies, well, that would be just to find a way to compete at the highest level, but yet enjoy the experience. What a memorable week it will be for them. And that's brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. That'll do it for our program. My name's Derek Scott. We appreciate you joining us. We'll talk to you again next week here on Gamecock Insider. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.